shall see the manifestation of your glory. Hallelujah. Come to pass in our lives, oh God. Because we serve a real and a true and living God. And so we give you praise. And we give you honor. And as we hold hands of our neighbors this morning, we not only believe for ourselves, God, but we believe for them. just to be in the house of the Lord another Sunday. Amen? Amen. Is anybody really excited to be in the house this morning? Because I don't know about you, but I'm just glad I'm not laid up in the hospital this morning. And that's when you clap right there. I'm just glad that I'm not locked up in jail this morning. I'm glad I'm not under a bridge somewhere this morning. I'm just glad to be in the presence of the Lord. On my back this morning, I woke up with a roof over my head this morning. I woke up with a car I'm able to drive this morning. That's a reason to put your hands together. Cause I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen, amen. It's so good to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. As I get ready to do a little science experiment this morning. Amen. I'm excited to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a couple quick things. Amen. Just before we begin this morning, just, just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, can you say that with some conviction this morning? Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more time. Can you say it like he done something for you on Monday? Hallelujah. Like he done something for you on Tuesday? Did he do something good for you on Wednesday and Thursday? You should just be able to shout out hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just so excited to be in the presence of the Lord because so many things are happening around the world. Amen. And God has allowed us just to make it in another Sunday. Amen. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did it just for us. Amen. 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 I, I'm just so grateful to be in the house of the Lord. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Very familiar passage this morning. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Amen. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Very familiar passage with any of us. We quoted it so much we might even know this one by heart. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, and the 17th verse. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, and the 17th verse. I am excited about being in the house of the Lord another Sunday, and he has created in me a clean heart. Yes. A heart that I didn't deserve, but he did it anyway. Amen. So often we take for granted all the things that God is doing in our lives, all the many ways that he continues to make. Even when we don't deserve to stay on the job, God still keeps us on the job. Right, right. Even when we don't deserve to be blessed, God still continue to bless us over and over again. Yes. For those of you who follow me on social media, I just made a post a couple of days ago how God is just so awesome. He yes. blesses in the city. He yes. blesses in the field. He blesses right. where we're coming right. and where we're going. Yes. And, and I made the post and I said every Sunday after doing the offering, we sing blessed. 
Yes. Right, right. Yes. And, uh, if anybody been with me for a long time, you know we've been here for 11 years, and every Sunday we seen Bliss yes. doing the offering time. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, Progressive sent me a letter in the mail. <laughs> He sent me a letter in the mail, and normally when Progressive send a letter, because I know I already paid my insurance, I don't even mind the letter, I simply just throw it away. Because yeah, right. they send you all kind of updates, they send you all kind of information that you really don't have to be concerned with, so right. you typically just throw the letters in the mail. Right. right. But this particular, son, this particular day, I decided to open up the letter. Mm -hmm. And as I opened up the letter, they, uh, the, on the information, they said, Mr. Scott, we have some funds that belong to you from 2014. Yeah! yeah. That we waiting to see to you. Y'all, y'all don't want to hear that. Right, right. See, 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 look, look this, look this, look this. Many of us, you know, if some, you send somebody a check and they don't cash the check, you're not sending them another check. Right, right. right. We're right. going to keep that money till they ask you yeah, right. for their money. Right. Now, in this particular case, Progressive <laughs> sent me this letter and say, Mr. Scott, we owe you $499. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on, That's a reason to clap right there. Right. Right. If it didn't happen to you, but guess what? Yours can be right in the open. Right. to let somebody know that God has no respect in person. Absolutely. Absolutely. And because he has no respect in person, guess what? Your blessing can come tomorrow. Amen. Your blessing can come on Wednesday. We have to be excited and live right. in anticipation. Y'all yeah. yeah. heard what I just said? Yeah. Live in living anticipation in of what God is getting ready to do. See, because if I truly praise him for what's going on, I probably wouldn't praise him. All right. All right. And if I praise him because what I can see, I probably yes. wouldn't praise him. Amen. But if I think about yeah. all the bad ways that he has made, yeah. and because I know that he's able to do it again and again and again, I can just give God some glory. Yes. Yes. Look at the text this morning. The fifth, second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the fifth chapter, the 17th verse, the Apostle Paul, as he was writing to the church of Macedonia, he was trying to encourage us and to remind us that we need to take on the full spirit of the Lord. Right. In the earlier verses, he said, listen, we walk by faith. How many of us truly walking by faith this morning? My God. How many of us truly walking by faith this morning? Many of us, we walk only as far as we can see. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. So we have kept ourselves. We have put limits on ourselves because we are not walking by faith. We're only walking by what our abilities say we can do. Amen. And so walking by what my abilities say I can do, I didn't graduate from college, so I might be limited on what I can do. I don't have a master's degree, so I might be limited on what I can do. But if I begin to walk by faith, yeah. If he told me he'll do it, the song just said he'll do it. Right. And that's what the song just said, he will do it. So I have to believe in my heart and believe in my mind that he's able to do it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the 17th verse. Reading in unison and concert together from the King James Version. Let us read. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Okay, this is what I want us to do real quick. Where it says, if any man, I want, I want us to read it again, but I want you to insert your name. Okay. If any man, but I don't say any man, if whoever your name is be in Christ, he's a what? New, new preacher. preacher. Can, can new. we read it again? Let's read it one more time. Let's read it. Therefore, Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new preacher. All things are passed away. It said, What? All things are what? Passed away. And all things become what? New. All things are what? Passed away. And all things become new. Now I want to look at that word new for just a second. All right. Because typically, what, what does it mean to be in Christ? What does it mean to, to have Christ flowing in you? We have some steps that we have to take. He said, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that the Lord Jesus died and rose again, then I shall have eternal life. That is the very first step of believing. Uh -huh. right. But now I have to begin to take on what's called discipleship. Uh -huh. I have to begin to learn of Christ. Amen. Many of us, we become Christians, but we never want to learn of Christ. Uh -huh. We become Christians, but we still want to hold on to the old stuff. Yeah, right. We still want to hold on to the old me. As long as I come to 
church every now and then, I'm still a Christian. Right. As long as I clap my hands doing praise and worship, I'm still a Christian. But uh -huh. God is saying, listen, I want to make you new all over again. Yes. Right. Just like he did with Adam in the garden of Eve. Eve, he said, Eve, he said listen, I want to breathe into you new life. New life. Fresh breath. Yes, yes. I, I don't want to bring that bad attitude along with you. Amen. Right. I, I don't want to bring that stinking thinking along with you. See, but many of us, we get saved, but we don't become new. My That's God. Not how, do we, we, how do you know that we don't become new? Because we like to talk about all the old stuff that we used to do. Jesus. We like to brag about the old things that we used to do. Now watch this. It's only a trick of the enemy because what the enemy will do, the enemy will have you talking about what you used to like to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only so he can remind you how much fun you had when you was doing it. Uh -huh. And so now you're forgetting, wait a minute, I don't like that life. That's not the life I choose to live. But because you keep reminding yourself how much fun you used to have back in 87. I'm going to go a little bit further back for some of y'all. Back in 78. Back in 69 when the Afros was around. You got, some of us start thinking about the stuff that we used to do. Yeah. And that go the enemy playing tricks on your mind. Yeah. Don't you want to call that old boyfriend again? Don't you want to go back down to that old juke joint that you used to be in? Don't you want to go back and do some of the things that you used to do? But he said, when you become in Christ, you are going to be a what? A new creature. Listen, we, 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 we've gotten so confused in the body of Christ because what we do is we get saved, but we don't want to fully turn our life over to God. Right, right. Yeah. We only want the, 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 the prosperity element yeah. of the gospel. We only want the blessings of the gospel, but we don't want to truly put uh, his yoke around our necks. Wow. And take up on, uh, up on him because his burdens is, is easy. So that means I have to be able to come to Christ and yep. say, God, clean me just as I am. Yep. And it's no more I, but it's you, Christ. Yes. That yes. lives inside, yeah. lives inside yeah. of me. But instead, Absolutely. what we do, we, we want to we wanna still cuss. We want to still go out and party. Yeah. We want to still have a good time. I, I've seen it a couple days ago. Uh, people making these shirts right now. I'm a Christian, but I cuss sometimes. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's the old you. Wow. That's not the new you. Oh, y'all yeah, saw them shirts. Y'all okay, it's okay. Wow. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I, 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 I'm a Christian, but, I, but you can still get these hands. Y'all ain't seen yeah. that shirt? Yeah. Uh -huh. We see it. Okay, I'm, wow. I'm going to monitor y'all Facebook pages this week because I know y'all seeing some of the stuff I'm seeing. Now, now, look at this. So many people are saying so much stuff, but they still want to identify as a Christian. Right, yeah. right. But the, that's not what the scriptures say. That's contradicting. He say, when, when you come in Christ, you're going to be a new creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do I become a new creature? I walk different. Right. How do I become a new creature? I talk different. Right. How do I become a new cre a Christian, a, a new creature? Because I, I think a little bit different. I don't think the way that I used to think. Uh huh. But but what we do, we, we typically in the body of Christ, we, we we become Christians, but we don't take on the full element of it. Now I got two bottles here, and the reason I got two bottles here, let me call them Bible because I don't want to mess my Bible up, so y'all can just flow with me. Now now look, we, we typically like to say different things about ourselves. Uh, especially when somebody got a bad habit, they say, I got it from my mama's side. I got it. Y'all ain't never heard that before? Yeah. I, I got that from my mama's side, so I'm going to pour a little bit in there. Then if you got a bad attitude or you always doing something wrong, they say, baby, you got that from your no good day. Right, right. right. We're going to pour a little bit more in here. Now, all the time, this is us. Let me, let me back up a little bit. This is us, and this is all the elements that make us up. Uh -huh. What do you mean by that, Pastor Scott? This is the way that I think. Yes. This is the way that I act. Yes. This is the way that I believe. This is the way that I treat people. This uh -huh. is the way that I've trained my kids up. So uh -huh. I, everything of who I am is now in this glass. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so then when we get saved, we come to God, we're expecting God to do some miraculous stuff in our lives, but we want to stay just like we are. My. Wait a minute, right, wait a minute, right, wait a minute. I can't, I, I can't be a true Pastor. disciple of God unless I begin to give of myself to God. Uh -huh. Right. So now I say, God, pour into me. God, fill me up, God. Fill me up, fill me up till I want no more, God. God, I want to overflow. But instead, every time I come to church, I walk out of church. Just like, just like I came in. Like and then not only do I walk out of church like this, I might go and contaminate somebody else. And then now they looking at me saying, didn't you just come from church? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, what, what, what's going on in your life? But you always walk 
now. I'm a Christian. The Lord is so good. I'm blessed and highly favored. You blessed and highly favored on the outside, but you got to get clean on the inside. Right. See, we got some people that are saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, but they're not clean on the inside. See, what you what, what, what you do behind closed doors eventually going to come out. Yes. Let, let me get to Let me finish. Let me finish. So then we come to church. We come to church, and, and Pastor Scott pray for you. Minister Newell pray for you. Pastor Tammy pray for you. So we get a little water in us. Come on now. And so even though we get a little water, I hope y'all know where I'm going with this. Watch uh -huh. this now. Understand, if you ever went to a store, you ever bought a drink from McDonald's or something, and the drink don't come quite like you, it's supposed to come, the first thing you say is the drink is what? Water down. Water down. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, water Jesus. Water Jesus. So now I'm a watered down Christian. I, I, I'm a watered down Christian because I still do the stuff that I like to do, uh -huh. but I got a little spirit in me. Come on. I still do the things that I like to do, but I got a little Holy Ghost in me, but I'm not fully clean because when people look at me, they still see I'm contaminated. My God. Oh, Lord, I'm going somewhere with this. And, and so the, but, but, but what you have to learn how to do in the body of Christ is I have to be able to say, you know what, God? I want all of you. Yeah. Oh. Not just some of you, but I want all of you, God. And how do I get more of them? By reading my word. How do I get more of them by coming in and participating in praise and worship? Yeah. How do I get yeah. more of him by spending some quality time with him? How do I get more of him by meditation? How do I get more of him by truly becoming a disciple of Christ? Mm -hmm. right. But some of us, we've got to the point where we're comfortable with just living just like this. Now, there are some others. Come on. Yes. I'm going to get there in a second. Uh -huh. See, I'm not as, uh, uh, for the sake of the color, I'm not as green as I was. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. okay. Really? Come on, help us. Come on. I, 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 I'm it's not the person that I used it's to be, but I'm not who God wants want me to be right yeah. now. Yeah. So I'm comfortable yeah. living uh -huh. like this. With the look transformation. Okay, look, 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 look. Creating me a clean heart. Yeah. Renewing me a right spirit. Yeah. If any man be in Christ, he is a new no creature. This ain't good enough for God. Yeah. All right. This might be good enough for Pastor Scott, but it's not good enough for God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this might be good enough to sing on the praise team, but it's not good enough for God. Right. This might be good enough to serve on the deacon board, but it's not good enough for God. Right. This might be good enough to serve on the usher board, but it's not good enough for God. God wants you to be completely transformed. Yes. But how do I become completely transformed? I got to get more of him. Right. I got to get more of him. And the more I get in him, Y'all missing it. The more I pour, the more the greenness is going out. And the more the greenness is going out, if I raise it up, oh, y'all supposed to clap right now. That's the point you clap on. Because you don't see the same green now that you were seeing at first. You don't see the same issues that you were seeing at first. You don't see the same problems that you were seeing at first. Because I have Yes. To make me new again. Yes. But how do I how do I do that on an everyday basis? I wake up saying, God, I'm just a sinner. Yes. And God, I need you to clean in me, God. I yes. need you to work on me, God. Yes. I need you to teach me, God. I need you to guide me. I don't want to live deluded anymore. Yes, God. But I want to be a new creature. Yes. yes. If any man be in Christ, he is a new, new, new creature. Old things. Passed away. Old things. Yes. Old things. Yes. See, some of us, we like old stuff. We, we like old stuff. The reason we like old stuff is because we know exactly what we're going to get from the old stuff. We know exactly how the old stuff going to treat us. We know exactly how the old stuff going to talk to us. We know exactly what's going on with the old stuff. So it's comfortable for me to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to just blame it on my family history. Oh yeah, I'm going to just blame it on the genes that I have in my body. But when God began to create in you something uh -huh. new, yeah. you said, God, I trust you with my whole yeah. heart, God. God, I trust you with my whole mind.